Hello everyone, welcome to my course and in this module I will discuss about access management. In an on-premises SQL Server, we have SQL Server authentication as well as Windows authentication. Similarly, in the Azure SQL, we have SQL Server authentication and we have Azure Active Directory authentication. Now there is not much difference on a SQL authentication compared to on-premises. So let's open SQL Server Management Studio and connect our SQL Server using SQL authentication. So go to SQL Server Management Studio and here I'm going to use same server which we have created last video firewalldemo.database.windows.net and I'm going to give username and password. Now this is the if you see here the authentication type is SQL Server authentication. We have Azure Active Directory authentication with MFA. We have Azure Directory Active Directory authentication with password and we have Azure Active Directory authentication with integrated. So let's go with first SQL Server authentication and give the password. So we have successfully connect our server. So this is a SQL Server authentication. Now let's talk about the user roles and how to create a user and how to give the access to the database. Now in the on-premises SQL Server, we have multiple server roles. For example, sysadmin, setup admin, server admin, security admin, process admin, disk admin. But in the Azure SQL, we have only two types of server role you can say login manager and db manager now as a name suggests login manager used for logins to create a logins new logins and managing the logins and db manager is useful to create a database alter database and all the database related activities now in the on premises if you go any database and if you go to the property yeah uh, okay, sorry, let's wait. Now in the on-premises, go to any database and if you go inside the security folder and if you select the database level role, here we have all the access db role, db reader, db writer, db access admin. Now there is not much difference perspective on a database role in Azure. So in the Azure also, you have database level role similar to the on premises so all the roles are available but in the server admin or the server level role you have only two roles login manager and db manager so let's discuss on this so as we discuss in the Azure SQL, we have only two roles, DB Manager and Login Manager. Let's create a login. Let's create a user and give the Login Manager access. So I am going to create one user, Mike, with the same syntax like on premises, create login, username with a password. Now I am going to create user, Mike. And I'm going to provide the login manager access. Now here you can see I have created logins. I have created a user and I have assigned login manager. Let's access server using my credential. and click connect. Now here you can see right now Mike have only login manager access. So he can't access the database. So the server principal Mike not able to access the database DB1. Okay. But Mike can create other logins if he want. 
he can't create a database also okay only mike can create logins now let's say i want to give db manager level access to mike so after that mike will create a database as well as he will be owner of that database for existing database you have to give the permission manually now let's go to the database level access so this is a server level access now let's talk about the database level access so in the azure sql you directly create a user without logins you do not require to create a login so let's try it i am going to create user bob with password this and i am going to give read access to the database okay so for that let me first select my database okay let me drop the user here because right now we are in the master database select the db1 because here we are talk about the database level access and i am going to create database level access so create user bob and i am going to give read only access the procedure is same exec sp add role member db data reader so now let's connect the database using bob credential and here you can see while connecting the server you are getting a error why because it's a database level access that's why you have to go to the option and select the database db1 or type the database db1 and click connect now here you can access the database now inside the server you have only access the db1 similarly if you want to give db owner access then you can give like this db owner means bob can edit update insert delete drop he is now owner of the database let's say if you want to give object level access then you can give grant select on for example this table to bob so here similarly you can give any uh, insert update so now this is a object level access it means that bob can only select insert and update a up this address table if he try to access customer table or product table other than this address table he will get error so now i hope you will understand how the database level access manage now let's talk about the azure active directory authentication now in the sql in the azure sql we do not have a windows authentication but we have azure active directory authentication and if you want to create a user then you can create a user like this create user give the email address from external provider let's try this so i am going to create one more user in my azure portal so go to the active directory let me create a user let me take the email address and here so paste this email address and create a user now you are you are getting an error 
principal this could not be created only connection established with active directory accounts can be create a active directory users okay now for that you have to go to the sql server again and inside the server there is a setting called active directory admin so let me create active directory admin and i am finding the user mike and I want Mike will be the admin of this server. So select and save. So Mike is an admin for this server. Now let's without creating a user, let's connect with the Mike. So select the database. Inside the authentication, select active Azure Active Directory and give the password and connect. So it will open the Microsoft login account let me take the password and paste the password here sign in set the new password so now you can access the server using azure active directory now this mic is admin now i want to give access to other active Active Directory user then you can just select the database and create a user like this so now I hope you can now understand how the Azure Active Directory work most of the time this active Azure Directory managed by the Azure administrator team you have to just take the email address and you have to run this script so please practice and if you have any doubt then just drop me an email I will definitely give the answer Thank you very much. See you in the next video.